हाय एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टुडे आई एम हियर टू एक्सप्लेन यू इन डिटेल लाइक व्हाट एग्जैक्टली द कंपनी क्यूजेंस द कंपनी क्यूजेंस टेक्नोलॉजी व्हिच केम टू शार्क टैंक इंडिया टू पिच फॉर देयर प्रोडक्ट नाउ इफ यू वांट टू नो इन डिटेल यू वांट टू वॉच द वीडियो यू कैन गो टू माई प्रीवियस वीडियो एंड यू कैन सी आई हैव शोन यू लाइक वॉट एग्जैक्टली क्यूज एंड टेक्नोलॉजी दे आर डूइंग एंड हाउ दे पीच फॉर देअर प्रोडक्ट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द शार्क्स इन द शो शार्क टैंक इंडिया ओके सो नाव आई हैव इन थ्रू दिस पेटेंट डेटा बेस एंड आई हैव सर्च फॉर देर एप्लीकेशन आई वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लेन यू इन डिटेल लाइक वॉट एग्जैक्टली दे हैव डन and how this patent it can be a game changer uh, in uh, today's world so if you see their application their application number is 2021 41040699 okay so you the, the application number is see if i click over here uh, then is this will open me to a new window okay so here i can see uh, see what all documents they have uploaded for their application okay so it's taking some time to load but uh, i had previously loaded this so this is what it will come okay so now you can go to complete specification okay see it has loaded qsens labs private limited okay if you go to view documents it will show you the list of this document i have already opened it in a new window so you can go through this complete specification and the drawings okay this complete specification and the drawings you can get a gist of like what exactly they have done so uh, this is the complete specification that i have opened okay so if you go to the top you can see this is form 2 which is the complete specification so it discloses system and method to detect quality of a food commun uh, food commodity okay so if you go towards the end you can see abstract now this abstract it will give you a summary of their invention like what exactly they have done and uh, before that abstract you can see the claims that uh, they have claimed their product is doing Uh, their composition and all based on these claims the invention it will be given a protection okay so just as like a boundary you have a home and uh, based on that boundary you are given protection of your house from the municipality or from the from somewhere you are registering your land so based on these claims the patent will be granted protection okay so this is the set of drawings if you click on drawings here so this will show the drawings you can pause this video and you can note their application number it's 2021 41040699 okay so now what they have done basically is this is their device so their device it has exhaust fan it has sensors and uh, there is a iot module and uh, food stack is also there so when this device it is put on a food item so it will detect the freshness of the food item okay so basically what you see this is the device this is the food as you put the device on the food inside a warehouse you can know the freshness of a food item so the uh, condition of the food the device will detect through its sensors and uh, it will use the iot module to transmit this data over a network to the cloud server now what essentially ha is happening the sensor will detect the uh, amount of gases and other other substance other uh, your chemicals like water vapor molecules and all this and it will the sensor will detect this and based on this data the cloud server it will make a prediction of how fresh your food item is okay so how this cloud server is doing this so the cloud server it runs a machine learning algorithm or a neural network model or it can run any type of you know this machine learning network machine learning techniques algorithm and uh, based on this receive parameters it will make a prediction okay this food is 7 days old it's 10 days old 
now it's it is perishable it has to be finished up like whatever it will make a prediction and the user device it can monitor this okay so these days a lot of patent application is being fired through this uh, you know through this model uh, like you have a cloud server the cloud server runs ai program uh, there is some device the device senses uh, something some parameters and the cloud server makes a prediction and the result you can view it on a dashboard or the user mobile okay some of the similar applications you must have heard of google lens in google lens you just uh, you know you scan a image or you uh, take an image and uh, this uh, like here you your mobile it takes an image and this image it transfer transmitted to the google cloud server and this google cloud server it identifies like you know what uh, what image you have uploaded similarly there are so many other applications okay one of these applications is us 2021 uh 02800056a1 guys if you want to see this application you can note this number just go to patents.google.com you can search for google patents and then you just enter this application over here you can see this application it's very easy so this application is driver behavior monitoring okay so like it, you know there are various see if you go through these claims you can find like uh, they will capture some of the parameters related to the driver okay through a camera or something some of the other device they will capture uh, the parameters related to driver and then they will send it to a cloud server the cloud server runs the machine learning model and you know then you can know about the driver like uh, how the driver is driving is it driving correct or not whether the driver is at a fault and all these thing so they tell that in uh, our uh, you know in uber and all this uh, you know this uh, uh, cab aggregators they uh, use this algorithm and along with the feedback model of the user they give the driver a certain rating and based on this rating rides are allocated to a driver so uh, this is one of the uses uh, of this then there can be an another use like drone you have drones drones can take images okay your drones they can capture images and uh, they can transmit this data to a uh, machine learning you know uh, a server or something machine learning server uh, is sorry a server that runs the, your some machine learning algorithm or a neural network and they can make certain predictions like uh, water is present or this is a forest or forest is catching fire and all these thing similarly uh, there is another thing like sensing glasses okay this is the application number if you want you can note it you can see this application you can also note this drone uh, application number you can pause this video take a uh, note of this application and if you want you can search it in google patents to more no details so sensing glasses like uh, you can wear a glass okay and uh, uh, your glass it will take these images and it it can recognize and interpret sign language and present the translated information to a user of the mixed uh, reality device so uh, you you can extend like these glasses they can be also made for a visually challenged person so if a person is visually challenged and you present him a glass of this kind so if he wears that glass the glass if he can identify objects and he can you know uh, let a visual uh, visually challenged person know that okay i had you have this object that object you can give a you can give a sense so a lot of applications they are being filed where you have some sensors or some you know image capturing device and all and uh, they simply collect the inputs and uh, they transmit it to a cloud server and the cloud server it displays it on the, the result it displays on the user device now uh, many of you must be using you know this uh, apple watch or fitbit or you know noise uh, noise watches and all there you have a feature like uh, the watch can automatically it detect whether you are doing any exercise or whether you are sleeping or uh, whether uh, you know you are walking or you are uh, reading you are uh, doing yoga and all these thing how the watch is doing 
so it monitors your pulse okay so there also you have a sensor it monitors your pulse and uh, it captures some other parameters then it you know when uh, it uh, senses and it transmits it to uh, your uh, network and the network it uh, uh, it runs it on a cloud server the cloud server it runs a machine learning algorithm or a neural network and then it makes a prediction and on your device you can then see like how much time you exercised how many how much time you are sleeping what was the level of sleep like wh how many how much time you are in a deep sleep how much time you are in a light sleep and all these things so basically this thing what you are seeing uh, this has been implemented in a lot many applications and it's very useful so this application uh, it's it can be quite useful and you can extend it to many and many uh, products so now i'll show you how to read claims okay so see the claims have there are a, there is a system okay this is a system claim okay so you have see these all are the system claims okay and then you have again another computing system this computing system it is uh, it is a set of computer program instructions so this will be this computer program it's a it would be a machine learning or a artificial neural network or some other thing that can make predictions okay and then you have a method claim these all are your method claims so if you go through these claims reading a patent application it's quite uh, simple and uh, like you need not know uh, you know you need not know something in depth because the applicant would have disclosed the best method of carrying out the invention okay so now i am showing you how you can read this application okay their application number is 2021 4104-0699 okay if you go to this in pass uh, this database you enter this application number you can see this okay so now see what it is disclosed an array of one or more sensors housed in a casing okay inside a casing there are one or more than sensors and one or more sensors are in proximity with one or more food commodity commodities okay so these sensors are inside the casing which is near to this food commodities Wh what this uh, array of one or sensors is doing it detects the presence of one or more gas as sensor reading okay so these sensors they are specialized sensors to detect the presence of gases Okay, this gas can be ethylene, carbo carbon dioxide, oxygen, ammonia, hydrogen sulfide, dimethyl sulfide, and trimethylamine. These are the gases which are uh, which are you know, which are uh, which are given out by these uh, food commodities. Okay, so this will transmit transmit the detected presence of one or more gases at the sensor reading, and the location information associated with one or the more sensors to a cloud server. Okay, so the detected presence of the whatever the presence of the gases are being detected by the sensor readings, so this will be transmitted to a cloud server. Okay, what now the cloud server communicatively coupled to one or more sensors by a network, where the cloud server is configured to now what the cloud server will do, it will detect the presence of more gases as sensor reading. Okay, so sensor readings, it will cloud server will read and the location information it will take. And it will use the sensor readings and uh, location information, and then it will determine the gaseous concentration that is associated with one or more gases in the sensor reading. Okay, what is the concentration of gases is there by using an artificial intelligence-based predictive model? Okay, so at this artificial intelligence-based predictive model will determine the gaseous uh, concentration which is associated with the sensor readings. Okay, now what it will do further? It will predict the quality of the food commodities. Okay. And uh, then it will output the quality of predicted commodities and the location information to the, to the display unit, so the display unit can see. Okay. So now there are exhaust fans and uh, like there are multiple points inside the storage. This casing is positioned as multiple points inside the storage. Okay. So inside your storage, you put it, you put this device over that. And now these sensors are also configured to detect the presence of humidity of the storage. You can also detect the humidity and the temperature value of the storage. And then you generate a heat map. Okay, heat map corresponding to the storage based on pre-stored layout information of the storage. Okay, so you all have you all must have seen you know heat maps uh, that uh, in the stocks you see see heat maps if you see 
uh, it will generate a heat map like which all you must have seen heat maps okay they will be they will come display as like this so you give some color coding based on the location so that you can know which all vegetables and fruits they are perishable so that you you can you know use it as soon as possible okay so now you classify this sensor readings into one or more type of gaseous concentrations so uh, this is what this application is doing so the clouds are so you can also see gaseous concentration match with pre stored levels so these are some of the general features that has given which have been told and uh, the author intends to explain this in more and more detail so then further you generate food quality scores for each of the determined gaseous concentration based on generated artificial intelligence based predictive model quite simple you are generating food quality uh, scores based on the ai model okay so now you predict the quality okay so then you have a computing system your computing system it has your data capturing system it uh, obtain presence of one or more gases and there is a food quality analyzing sub system you determine the gaseous concentration uh, associated with one or more gases readings and then you predict this food uh, quality okay so these all things they have been covered now there is a method which is associated with uh, with the system of claim 10 uh, sorry your a method uh, method of food sorry i, I told uh, okay a method for detecting quality of a food commodity okay so this is a method which is associated with this computing system so uh, this method also they also disclose these features so you have you know now there are three things they are claiming they are claiming a system and then they are further claiming another computing system and then they are claiming a method so this is a quite simple application but if it is approved and it is used this can be a game changer because uh, we don't have uh, you know there is sto storage problems in india so uh, the food much of the foods uh, or the vegetables the not able to we are not able to uh, you know uh, use it and in instead it is thrown away because uh, foods are perishable items but if uh, this application Uh, if it can be used, then you can predict the uh, like you know predict how much time you have with a food item, uh, and uh, like you can determine like okay these many days are present, so the food needs to be used as soon as possible. And uh, if you want, you can go through this complete description. So you can go through the drawings. You can go through this complete description. It is quite simple and lucid. and uh, these all things they have been greatly explained in this complete description if you want to know the summary you can read the abstract if you want to know the scope of protection you can read the claims and just go through the complete description to know more and more and uh, this is a very uh, sim uh, i mean simple but yet useful product and uh, it can be extended to many other things like i showed you about drones and i showed you about sensing glasses even google lens also it's the same thing and uh, you can see driver behavior monitoring also okay so i think uh, you got a lot of you got some idea about like how you can uh, develop some product and uh, if you can develop a product you can also file patent and if it is it business viable so it can be turned into a great business as well okay so thank you for watching this video i hope you found the video useful and you appreciate this thank you very much